What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be a spoiler free review for Disney's upcoming reboot of Haunted Mansion. Uh, it is starring Lakeith Stanfield, Tiffany Haddish, Owen Wilson, Danny DeVito, Jamie Lee Curtis, Jared Leto, uh, Winona Ryder makes an appearance and a few other individuals in this project. It is being directed by Justin Simeons from a screenplay by Katie DePold. It is revolving around the mother and son of Gabby and Travis, who enlist the aid of a team led by Stanfield to help exercise their mansion and destroy the ghosts around them. Now, Haunted Mansion, I will say, will not get my stamp of approval for delivering a group of well-rounded characters to really sink my teeth into, but our leading character, played tremendously by Lakeith Stanfield, was enough for me to forgive the otherwise underwhelming group surrounding him. Although there's a lot of personality that gets to shine amongst the core group of characters that helps enhance their lack of development. Also, the story isn't anything groundbreaking, but it is decent enough to hold your attention thanks to the performances that again enhance this journey it does get my stamp of approval for everything else for the most part well not the pacing because i did think it was a bit of a chore to get through and it was a bit too long anyways haunted mansion is the kind of decent project you get when a competent director is at the helm you had stellar performances a decent story that delivers another think piece on grief as if we didn't have enough of those already from countless other projects but it finds that near perfect balance to evoke sadness laughter and a slight bit of terror for kids there's a lot of humor in here for black audiences to really get a kick out of there's definitely an acknowledgement of how black people would respond in situations like this that made me chuckle and i'm sure it'll make a lot of you chuckle as well lakeith character Ben leads our story. Ben is recovering from a recent loss. He's down on his luck and feels alone with his grief. His work here as Ben was truly remarkable. That being Stanfield I'm referring to again. And there's a scene in the mansion where our core group get together that truly gets to highlight the talent that Stanfield possesses. I've always thought he was a tremendous talent and he's getting to demonstrate he's doing some of his best work honestly in this in this project. If you saw my recent tweet, I do have to say that he is doing a phenomenal job in this role. I the more I see of him, the more I continue to believe he'll be a part of something very memorable one day. I know Get Out is memorable for any of my horror fans out there listening to this, but I think Lakeith Stanfield has a a project ahead of him that is going to really just put a light on just how great of a talent he is because he is on a whole nother level in comparison to all his co-stars in this project now i don't want to give too much detail away but it's a very sad moment that lakeith is really just amplifying thanks to his heartbreaking facial expressions and his delivery admittedly every performer gets their chance to shine but stanfield is who the story is mostly about well him and chase chase dylan's character named travis i believe as I mentioned, none of these characters are worth really growing too attached to. Travis, maybe because he's a kid and you don't want to see kids going through things. And he's got a whole lot that's unpacked during this film that I'm sure a lot of kids might be able to connect to. So if a lot of parents go end up seeing this movie with their child, hopefully they're able to bond with some of the material that's addressed in this movie. Uh, as I mentioned, none of them are worth really growing too attached to but they all get a chance to demonstrate their very likable personalities and that's enough to keep me interested in the bonds that ben is forming with each and every one of them the theme of grief is handled well and justin simeon's direction i have to say is quite phenomenal i think the script was kind of all over the place at times so if this ended up in anyone else's hands maybe it would have been a train wreck the performances and the chemistry amongst the stars on the screen is this film's greatest strength again along with the direction well the set designs are nice and Simeon's ability to capture the right amount of terror for any children watching and then shifting into the dramatic side of the story while also giving you jokes here and there uh it's it's all really just formulated very well in terms of its tone tonally this movie is a hit Tiffany Haddish, hilarious as always. Danny DeVito, still one of the best talents working today. Jamie Lee Curtis and Winona Ryder was solid for the amount of screen time that they had, which was very little. Winona has less screen time than Curtis. Curtis's performance did make me nostalgic for Jennifer Tilly because I grew up with that old three Eddie Murphy movie like many of you probably did. But this was still a good outing for one of my favorite screen, screen queen actresses. Decent enough cinematography because I cannot stand how dull a lot of movies look these days. So I appreciated the visuals in this project along with some of the camera work. The very first time we meet Ben early on. Again, the pacing was really this film's biggest problem. I don't see any reason why it was two hours long. It could have been an hour and 30 minutes at best. But... 
for what they gave us, it was still enjoyable. But there's those moments where you're watching is like, why is this still going on? Why are we still here? Let's stop showing this and tr start getting to the resolution. But all in all, I would call this a, a hit. I think many people will enjoy it. I enjoyed it. It's just not the greatest thing ever. I would give it a seven out of 10, uh, maybe a six and a half. I'm leaning somewhere between those two. I will say this, the design or the uh, CGI, I guess, the way Jared Leto's character looked, it, I didn't really like that design. It, it basically looked like the Grinch if the Grinch hadn't eaten in several years. Imagine, a, imagine the Grinch as a skeleton. It wasn't scary, none of that. It wasn't terrifying. Jared Leto was okay, but the design of the character was quite bad, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the Haunted Mansion down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there is a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.